Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Ms. Bagulam Abbas from Mishiyats, and today we are going to learn how to crochet this cute uh, booties, or you can say boots, or you can also say them slippers for your little baby. And the size I'll be, I'll be making is to 9 to 12 months baby. And these are specially designed for my son. And uh, this is my very own design. So you can ask me anything, any question if you have. So, and you can customize in any color, any size you want. And uh, these are very easy and quick to make. So, let's get started. You will be needing some yarn over here. I am using DK Worsted Weight Yarn. Worsted Weight Yarn. Okay, in two colors. Uh, and I will be needing 3.5 mm hook and a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. So, let's get started. We are going to start with a magic circle. So, starting a magic, magic circle, chain 1 and now we are going to make 8 half double crochets. Remember this chain 1 won't be counted as a stitch. So, yarn over, draw through all the 3 loops. Okay, this is our first half double crochet. Second half double crochet, third half double crochet, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, and eight. After making eight half double crochets, I'm going to pull this tail and close this hole that was visible okay now we are going to slip stitch into the very one two three four five six seven and this is the first stitch and now we have done our first round is completed now we are going to attach the second color and start our second round remember not to uh take this tail with us but we are going to uh, take this tail along with our work so that it is not visible and our work gets a bit neatness okay so for this starting with chain one but this chain one won't be count as our uh stitch yarn over into the same stitch we are going to make two half double crochets this is our first half double crochet and second half double crochet into the next stitch two half double crochets one and this is the second half double crochet again one half double crochet and the second one into the same stitch so in this way when we are going to complete our round we will have 16 double crochets 8 double crochets and now in this round we will have 16 uh, half double crochets so now i have completed my 16 half double crochets and see this one this is our first half double crochet of the second round and we are going to make a slip stitch Our round 2 is complete. Again, we are going to lift the yellow and grab the blue color and we are going to work with this. So here I have, see you can see this is a loose over here. So when we are going to pull the yellow yarn, it is going to be tight and as you can see, now we can easily work with our blue yarn. So chain 1, this won't be count as our stitch. Again, I am telling you, okay, now into the first stitch. So this is the first stitch. We are going to make two half double crochet. One. And this is the second one. After making two half double crochet, into the next stitch, we are going to make one half double crochet. Into the next two half double crochets into the next one half double crochet again two half double crochet 
so in this way we will complete our round by making two double two half double crochet one half double crochet two half double crochet one half double crochet and at the end of our uh, round we will have total 24 stitches so at the end of round three we have total 24 stitches and from now onwards we are not going to increase or decrease our stitches so for round six round six means more six rounds we are going to make of 24 starting with the yellow color chain one this won't be count as our stitch and now we only have to make one double crochet in each of the stitch remember i'm uh, showing you this for year one like uh, nine to twelve months baby and if you want to make the bigger size what you simply have to do is you have to start with the uh, you have to give more uh, stitches you have to put more stitches in the magic circle so here at 24 we are now not going to increase or decrease and make 24 uh, stitches all the way round so once you have completed the the rounds of 24 cse 8 16 24 and this was 24 so after this we have made 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 more rows so in total we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now we have 9 uh, rounds completed and now we are going to work in uh, back and forth like we are going to come over here and again we are going to go over there because now we have to give it a shape and for the shape what we have to do is uh, like we have to leave six stitches over here okay so we are not working going to work in these six stitches and from here when we are going to work till over here so in total 18 stitches you have to make 18 half double crochets for so now what the trick is that you have to take this blue yarn along with you because while when you are coming over here after that you want the blue color so you don't have to cut it off again and again and you are going to continue it as it is so let me show you over here starting with chain one that won't be count as our first double crochet and see i'm going to keep this uh, tail over uh, this yarn over here of the second color and start working uh, as, uh, half double crochet so this is three half double crochet four so here you can see i have started working from here until here i have done 18 and this blue tail is working i have worked all the way from here till here i was taking it along with me so now what you have to do now grab the blue color yarn and bring it on top now we are going to work with the blue yarn and we are going to take this uh, yellow yarn along with us so again chain one and turn your work in this way and remember to take this yellow yarn along with you till here because again you are going to work with the yellow yarn so this count this won't be count as our first stitch chain one after chain one we are going to work it like this so back and forth back and forth you have to work okay so I have made over here five round, uh, five rows back and forth. So one, two, three, four, and five. Now this is my last uh, row of my uh, shoes, and oh, in this uh, row, what I'm going to do is in the very center of my work, I'm going to make a decrease so that the toe gets its round shape it doesn't get the pointed shape because when we are not going to give it a decrease over here it will go and give a pointed shape to our 
and ankle no what do we say to the edge of our death at edge of our feet <clears throat> so let's start and over here also i am going to take the yellow yarn along with me so this is my first half double crochet second third fourth fifth sixth and now the seventh one uh, no uh, eight and nine i'm going to decrease in that one so see now this is my uh, eighth one yarn over pull through two yarn over into the next stitch yarn over pull through two and now we have three loops on our hook and going to draw through all the three loops so this is one stitch of two stitches we did so this is called a decrease okay so we did we did a decrease over here rest we are going to work till the end in the same way one half double crochet into each of the stitch So we have completed our row around over here. Now a, we are going to turn it on the wrong side and now we have to sew these edges over here. So for that we are going to start like this and turn our work and start joining it with a single crochet. okay so let me join and show it to you this is the last stitch and here we go we have attached the toe part and now we are going to leave a tail and fasten off and we are going to weave this end at the end when we are going to give it a finished look so now what we have to do with this yellow tail over here so let me show you now we have to make the loops for our uh, chain that we are going to make or we can say the lace that we will be making so we have to tie that lace with it so for that starting we are going to make chain three and into the next stitch we are going to make a single crochet chain three again a single crochet now again we are going to make chain three and in this way we are going to complete the round and fasten off our work so here i have completed my uh, shoe and or slipper or you can say so after this now this is the last step i'm going to show you i have made the chain you can make 70 to 80 chains and in this way now you are going to uh, tie it over here so what you have to do is you simply have to go into these ho holes like this you can uh, set your uh, size of your chain accordingly if you want the bigger you can make it big and if you want it small uh, you can make a small for your uh, slippers to tie these are really comfortable and if your child is not wearing any uh, uh, like uh, it's very comfortable to wear and my kids i have made it for my son who is now going to be uh, a one year old as you can also see into the picture and uh, so i have completed uh, weaving my uh, chain and in this way you can tie and you can see into the picture the last uh, the view of how it looks on the foot of a 
child so thank you so much for watching the video i hope you found it useful and if you like uh, my video please give it a thumbs up and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to my channel and also uh, click on the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever the new video is uploaded thank you so much have a great day